going to tell you my interesting fact of the day. Here is of the week since I didn't learn it today. But on the dog. Um, there are, I still don't know what the right adjective that I want to use for it, but it's not microscopic, I don't think it's the right word, but just tiny, tiny, tiny contractions of the vocal cords which accompany a person's internal dialogue. So like, you're, the, like as you think thoughts, tiny, tiny little, like just like, like these tiny little electrical pulses, essentially. Mimicking whatever the thoughts that are, so you can read. Not you that there. you're saying anything. No, no, that there's, it's just, just no. You're what are your internal dialogue? It's when you're walking around thinking. Mm -hmm. You're in a tiny little way. Your throat is is communicating what's going on inside your head. I find that idea fascinating. But just that. Is this something you you read? Yeah, it was it was on the internet. I which is it was on Reddit, and it was it was if something makes it to the front page, Reddit is probably not crap. There are, yeah, there, there's, there's several million users, and it's difficult to get something by seven million people. But, you know, I mean, not that they are all actively participating, but it's still, so far as the, the effectiveness of it, that's, yeah, I like that place. I've never heard that. Yeah, well, I mean, this was like three, two or three days ago. It's just kind it's like of... A subconscious, uh muscular reaction well it's, but it's your conscious thoughts and yes and but, uh, yeah autonomic not in any way you don't have any control over it it's just that's part of but and in part because how the brain is structured like you have sort of specialized parts that are related and putting your thoughts together in a coherent form and speaking are related and the way the brain works is that it doesn't do it just in two different places it just does it in one place and just uses it really in a, in a slightly different way yeah i am fascinated by it fascinated in what way? just the brain and i my current metaphor which i'll not harp on is that i think that the science of psychology is somewhere in the realm of sticking leeches on people to drain their humors like it is a concept, and it is something. Oh, I, yeah, I, I think you know, the science but, of psychology is as a joke. And there's so much. Because so much of psychology is determined by the day's norms. In that, 1972, but, homosexuality you want to, uh, was yeah, I got a good one there. as, you know, a psychiatric disorder. Yes. Very clear definition, very clear diagnosis, yeah. very clear treatment program. And then it changed. Yeah. But, but that's not science. But, okay, so, regardless, my current metaphor that is in that same vein is that I think within two generations, marijuana prohibition, particularly when taken into account with the state of alcohol consumption and all that stuff, will be, will be how we now view colored water fountains. We're like... Yeah, everyone thought that was okay, and that was somehow, you know, healthy for society. But, yeah, definitely norms shift over time. But they are improving. There's this yeah. constant... The law shifts, too. Oh, very much so. That's so I love it. the graph. It's got, you know, the... I, I was talking to this kid about if you're in the United States in 2000, how many, do you know how many states passed constitutional amendments banning gay marriage? in like the 2000s. But if you're, because I was thinking that a lot of those required 60% votes, like required more than the majority votes. Let's see. Plurality? I might put a word for it, but. But, you know, homosexuality and the legal status called marriage have nothing to do with the two and they're not the same. Hang on. My, my position always was, you know, Call it something else. I mean, is Let marriage be for the heterosexual? If someone creates 
I don't know. See, for me, what you're saying there, like, I can create a religion where it is okay for homosexuals to marry. I can create marriages where, well, all kinds of marriages can be okay in my religion. And uh, what you're saying is the government should say that your religion's definition of marriage should be the definition of marriage and not my religion's definition of marriage. And I really, I am very much about the separation of church and state. Like, I... At least so far as the state shouldn't marriage endorse not, any particular any particular perspective. I can have a religion. I can no. I'm definitely allowed to say I have a religion with this set of beliefs, and within my religion there is a marriage. Marriage is a legal event, not a religion. And you're saying, well, yeah. So its legal definition has changed. I didn't know if you're. I felt like you were. Your argument had a a point. Like you were you were saying that things should be a particular way. No? My argument at the time, and, and still it would be. Oh, yeah, I mean, you can't, uh, oh, I mean, you've got to, was, you got to base your comprehension of the world on, to was, some extent, uh, on those around you, because... That marriage, you know, was a, a dying institution. Uh, that it was, in, and it in and of itself, in a heterosexual no, there is a graph of, but but percentage of the population that is single, it is over, it is continual, and it is headed towards everyone being single. Yeah, I mean, marriage is becoming meaningless, and the more you add to, okay, marry your dog, marry your TV, marry your best friend, marry whoever, whatever you want, get married. So now marriage means nothing. Does it though? Do you think that? It means that... nothing. To me, it means nothing. Okay, okay. See, for me, marriage is grounded in this emotional commitment. And it is requisite for me that the parties involved are capable of, there's like an age of cognition or something, like an age of accountability. Well, or, your, but like, they've got to be able to think. Like, I, you can't marry a cat. What? Which one? Your favorite cat. Because they can't think. They cannot enter into, they can't sustain, like. Well, a lot of married people can't. But if someone wanted to marry, would, but hang on, I just again, I, I will, I will, I am getting more comfortable saying this. I'm going to say this out loud. I am, I am a techno anarchist. I am, I am as well as religion, the defining political parties. I think that if someone wants to marry their cat, okay, what are the repercussions? Do they get like, does their cat get to visit them in the hospital? I am absolutely fine with that. Um, what else happens? Does their cat get tax break? Their cat inherits all their stuff. I am fine with that as well. Um, I don't know. I need it in, in concrete terms of what happens, and if it doesn't affect me, what the fuck ever. I don't care. Do whatever you want. I got my own problems to deal with. <sighs> but, um... You wouldn't want to be in a policy-making role. I would like to be in a policy-influencing role. you got to deal with... But I do not want to be... That are irrelevant to you. No, no. Irrelevant to somebody. I, I do not want that, that type of role. I like the idea, again, of shaping discourse and you know, coming up with ideas. So can I, can I, can I talk a little bit about, I need, I'm working on a, I'm responding to the client. In the client. The client. There is, so right now, there is me. There is Mind Tonic, which is Jay Sanders, and then there is Group Dini, which is what the... What do they have to do with homosexual women? I'm not. I just I need to I need to talk something out, and I was gonna. You mind uh -huh. if I if I talk out what I'm like? I I'm, I'm in like someone has said something to me on the computer, and I now need to say something back to them. And I'm not really. I don't really have a good. I don't really have it completely worked out. Does Dini want you to work? With yes, them? they did. I have. I, I actually. Compensate you. I don't give a shit. I I, do, I have I have. For your uncomfortable relationship. I could. I could, again. There is. There is again. My 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 soul has a price. And I, again, my uh, capacity is really pretty rare. There was a chart of which programmers are paid the most. The median salary for a, Ru a Ruby programmer is one hundred and seven thousand dollars. Like they are, they are getting like there's in there, but right, uh, uh, one hundred and seven thousand dollars a year. One hundred and seventy. One hundred and seven thousand dollars a year is the median. Yes, yeah, so if I was if I was salary, I'm just saying, to, but that is. So far as the value of my, what I'm doing, and that's but that's fine. So like, you break it down to an hourly basis. 
You could, but I'm just saying it's still, but it is the highest paid type of programmer. Are you saying you want to work with Dream Team? No, no I'm, saying my, I'm saying I have no desire, but I am responding. And they know I don't want to work for them. They know that I'm leaving. But I'm, so what this, so okay, I'll try to give just a little bit of background. So the way it works is I have a little copy of the program running on my computer. That is development. Every so often, they'll say, this is wrong with whatever, and I make some changes, and I put it here. Then there's a computer that everyone's testing against. It's got, like, everyone's got test accounts and whatever, and that is called staging. And the idea is we make changes here, and then they get pushed here, and then we test them, and then they get pushed here to production. And production is when you go to a website, you are connecting to a production service. It is producing for the world. And so, it, and so, currently, the problem is Jean-Paul. So, Groot Dini is the husband and wife pair of Angela and Jean-Paul. And Jean-Paul wants... Wait, what, what, what you lost me? Groot Dini is who I'm doing this for. Angela and Jean-Paul are, are husband and wife, and they are Groot oh. Dini, is, is Angela and Jean-Paul. I didn't know. Yeah, that, well, I was introducing him because I'm doing like uh, so. These are people, and we're all on Slack, and they can all tell me to do stuff whenever they want. <coughs> and they live in Asheville. And they live in Asheville. And they have a child. And they have a child, which I don't know if I've seen. Maybe on video chat. I don't remember. But regardless, Jean Paul comes to me and says, "I want to be able to create a new." account but I want to be able to use a coupon such that it does not charge the customer for a year but after that that the billing will work automatically yes like a normal billing and the problem is is currently the the connection between the website and the the server does not there's just there's no coupons you can't you can't use the the, the actual system to create coupons and use coupons so he's like, can you just go in there and like create manually in the database these things and make it so there is a customer and a subscription and a coupon and do all of these these So it's like changes. a free year. Pardon? Is it like a free year? Yes. He's like, I want I want someone to be able to three on like a two year contract or something. Yes. In a year, he wants. So what he wants is for someone to be able to log into this website and they have an organization and then in a year they start getting charged. Is the full rate. 7,000 or whatever. Yeah. P precisely. That, that, yes. I'm not going to go into that. Well, they, they do that all the time. What? Which? The, exactly what you're talking about. Like, we'll send you six. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, yeah, but no, 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 no. So there is, there's what he wants to do. That is one thing. But then there's what I need to do in order to make it work. Like, he can't use the program as it exists to, to do it. So he wants me to connect in and change the database, like manipulate the data so that, so that the program works this way. But this whole process of you know making code and testing code and deploying and going and testing and all of that process, he wants me to bypass it and just make changes in the database, which I can do and it would affect how the program operates. But it's, I mean, there's this, it really, there's all this process for a reason. There's not, right, like it, there's, it's really bad engineering to do what he's asking you to do. And so I'm in the process of responding to him, and this is like our our interactions are definitely winding down. Like they know I'm headed out, and we've I've told them. Why don't you just tell him it's bad engineering? Well, that's and so that's what I would. But so okay. Well, the thing is, I, and this is again pipe. You can call it pipe dreams, but it's still I'm liking. I just I'm, I'm working out a pitch. So what I want to do is say, like right now. Uh, and so I'm working on this metaphor. I want to try to lay it out. So, like right now, my you have been sold a boat. Are you you paid some people to make you a boat, and then you hired Jay and I to come and be engineers on your boat, and make your boat work, and make it float. And you know, after sufficient time that we understood how this thing was going. We all want it out. <laughs> I mean, and that is that bodes poorly for your boat if you, not, you hire engineers and they immediately want to leave. 
and I still am trying to come up. Like I, I don't want to criticize his, like what he's doing Are you too much. Guilty for leaving no, I would like to. Pay, I, I there is software that I would like to create, and I would also like to have enough money to live and not and you know I would like to also have money. And so I am trying to pitch an idea for him to give me money to do something else without all of the management bullshit that's going to be going on. And it's actually in terms of this metaphor of the boat. Because just right now, It's as though, like right now, I'm just trying to think ahead. The, we, like one of the problems they have is there is no design for the boat. Every day, essentially, Angela, we go to Angela and we say, okay, what's the next thing? How is this boat supposed to work? And she's like, okay, the next part of how this boat is supposed to work is this. And then we go do that. And then come to her afterwards and ask her again. And... Oh, it's absurd, really. I do not know how, like, there's no, there's no concept, like, no one has laid out what they're doing. It's, we just go from task to task. I think you ought to be just straight, straight forward with it. How know, so? And just say, you know, from my, my professional. Yeah, my experience. Uh, they don't have, they've never handed out a set of plans for all the well, they, No, I just, that is one criticism. It is, there's one criticism of the existing structure. The thing is, is what I want to say is one of your problems is that you're solving an existing there are many existing solutions to what you're doing there's nothing there's nothing new in what you're doing with sharing pictures with people and then chatting with each other that's been done but you're facing a very real problem of the complex task of in particular managing the integration of multiple software teams and the yes and so I, the software that I want to pitch is twofold. One, it is just, it has some conceptual model of this is the development process and there's approvals and there's this and there, I'm not sure exactly what all that looks like, but there is software that understands concept, just in terms of how things interact, how the process works. And in that, people capture both how they want it to work and what needs to be done in order for it to get to how they want it to work. You, so the plan of where you're headed. <laughs> do you think you have a good sense of what they are trying to accomplish? Yeah, I mean, it's no, that's the thing. There's nothing new there. They're trying to share chats and groups. Like everything works pretty much as you'd expect it to work because it's, yeah, it's like Facebook. I'm, I'm making a tiny little own expensive version of Facebook. That's fine. Farce, farce got me off the wall. I'm, I'm comfortable enough that I can survive for a bit. I'm going to DC this weekend, by the way. Just yeah, a uh, ten-year Peace Corps reunion, which I had Are somehow do. I I, re I think it will. I'm I'm hopeful. I'm gonna get the oil change. That's the thing. Like after I send this to Jean Paul, because I'm gonna tell him like you're just like this is you're you got problems, much bigger problems than fixing whether or not people can see chats from this and this like. You got you got just really fun. Well, no problem. Just be straight, straight, That's what I'm working. I'm working on my I'm working on my straightforward response. You know, you could throw in a compliment here or there. You could say, you know, what yeah. you're, what you're trying to do is admirable and, and uh, thus I don't know. Impractical from a developmental point of it's view. It's just I mean, just it's not Increasingly, I find I've spoken to a lot of tech people, and that sense of wanting their work to matter in some way, to be something other than a way to make money. There's, I see no again. I see this co this company is you know like how do we make money? Oh, we well, make a software your, company. What should our software your, company do? Well, Facebook made a lot of money, 
How about we do that? But you're, you know, but you, you're doing, you know, like your castle thing. That's, yeah. That's sort of. But that, so the, that's the thing. Is if you ask me, though, if, I, if someone gave me a bunch of money right now and I made a software company, I would not make a software company. I would make this company to manage the plans for how the, software, how the, the castle software gets built. In part because I want to el eliminate, I want for the work to be done um, per task. So there's no set of employees. There's this set of tasks, and this person says, I don't know exactly what like ownership and control will have to look like to make it work, but people, if there's this, you know, there's this set of functionality and it requires this set of changes, someone can say, okay, give me $300 and I'll do that. Or no, 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 that's actually not how I want to do it. I want to say, at $120 an hour, I will do that and I think it'll take me three hours. And... The, what, the really big advantage both is there's no boss, there's just, there's just no boss. Like it is, I mean there is, there is going to have to be some design, like someone's got to decide what we're trying to accomplish. Now is group duty, do they have programmers other than? Yes, no, there are three other teams of programmers. Oh there are? Yeah. So you and Jay, it's you're all little... dropping out, it's not leaving them high and dry. Oh completely, it is completely. Because the structure of it is, there are the front ends, which are Android, <sighs> Apple, and web. And then there's the back end, which manages all the data so that these things can do whatever the heck they do. And so there are a lot of changes that these people can't do unless we do something on our end. So you're, you're like we are half, we are literally half of the equation. We are removing like half of it. Okay, what you do is the foundation on which the rest is built. Yeah, and so you can't do anything because, yeah. <sighs> so it's horrible, but again, that's okay. That's somebody else's problem. And create almost. I just, if, I, if I can send this, I'll do I'm not sure what I'll do. Again, I'm going to D.C. I'm going to leave tomorrow sometime afternoon -ish, I think. I would rent a car, but I'm going to go up to Baltimore for at least a day. And I don't know who I'll catch up with. I'd like to see Leo, who... Do you have any trouble renting a car? Yes, I have. Every time I've tried, I've had to have someone help me. But it might have had something with my bank account. I could call. I should, I'll do that. I'll call. But yes, but those are, like, so far as the pitch of... In startup speak, it's called a pivot. Where And there are. There are companies that, like, they started out making... Knit cats, knit hats for cats, and now they make some sort of management, something. But they just like you. If you got the money, if you got the money, and it's you can do it. Especially with software, it's called being agile. It's just every opportunity you have, you're like, okay, where am where am I now? What's going on? And what have I learned? And where am I headed? Not every, but every time you reach a goal or Would a Jay sort have of. Other projects? Not to the best of my knowledge. I have not discussed it with him yet. I have discussed it. I mean, he has said there are, there will be more work. He has said that. And, yeah, I have told him that I can survive for a bit and be comfortable, barring emergencies.